This video is going to show five AI tools that when combined have the potential to make a ton of cash in 2023. I'm going to show you what they are and how I would combine them to make some serious money online. So stick around. Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to my YouTube channel where we talk about content creation, making money online and affiliate marketing. So if those are the things that you're into and you end up liking this video, be sure to hit the subscribe button so that you get more of them in the future. Now, unless you've been living under a rock, it's 2023 and AI is everywhere. And I don't think it's going to be a fad. I don't think it's going away anywhere soon. I think that AI is going to be here for the long haul. And the question becomes is how are you going to use it in your business, in your life? Now, while I don't think that AI is going to completely eliminate eliminate the content creator. What I think AI is going to do, at least in the short term, is it's going to actually raise the floor as to what is you know the minimum standard of content. Because what I'm going to show you here is that even somebody with no video creation skills will be able to create a faceless YouTube channel and probably get a bunch of views. And you've probably seen the types of videos that I'm talking about, the ones that are just basically B-roll and a voiceover, and they're listing basically the top five of something or the top 10 of something. In fact, there are entire YouTube channels dedicated to those types of videos. Now, in the past, you would have to have hired a video editor, you'd have to write a script, type it up, hire a voiceover artist, but thanks to AI, all of that basically goes away. So now let's dive right in and I'm going to show you the five AI tools that I think you can use to recreate those videos without a lick of content creation experience. Now, tool number one is ChatGPT. Now, this wouldn't be a 2023 AI video if I didn't include ChatGPT, so I might as well use it off the bat. Now, if you're unaware, ChatGPT was released on November 30th of 2022 and they reached a million users in about five days. It's the fastest any platform or any software has reached a million users and with good reason. Essentially what ChatGPT does is it's a it's almost like a chat bot that you can go in and ask it to type and perform certain things, certain tasks, and it will spit out copy. In this case, we're going to use ChatGPT to create an outline and even a video script for our listicle type YouTube video. Let's hop in and I'll show you how what I mean. All right, so here we are. We're inside of ChatGPT and we're going to go into here. Now, sometimes they are running a lot of, uh, they're running at capacity most of the time. So this may or may not work, but let's hop in here. Let's say, um, write a YouTube outline for a video on, let's pick the the top 10, let's go fastest cars in the world. And now within seconds, this is actually going to list the top 10 fastest cars in the world. So as you can see, ChatGPT is going to scour the internet and it's been fed all this information. It's going to, right now I'm creating an outline with it. Okay. Once this is done, we'll look at this and basically, you know, give a, give the list a once over and let it say that, okay, this works. Okay. This is, these are, these are some 10 pretty fast cars here. So now let's go in the GPT and let's go here. Let's go. Great, now make it a full full video script. Chat GPT is now gonna create a full video script for this particular video. Now we're just gonna give this about two or three minutes to run and then we'll come back. All right, so now that we've actually got an, a video script from Chat GPT and it's actually not bad. Now, I think it's not 100% replacing a human, but it is close. Now what we have to do is we have to actually take that video script and we have to actually generate a video and find all kinds of B-roll clips for that particular script. So to do that, we're gonna head over to a software called Pictory.ai. Now, if you don't know what Pictory is or you've never heard of it, Pictory is essentially, it's another AI tool where you're gonna basically take a video script or take a blog post or something where you wanna turn text into video. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna copy and paste your script into Pictory. And what that's gonna do is that's gonna, it's gonna associate a bunch of B-roll items and then kind of mash them all together with captions into a video. I'll kind of show you how this works. So we're heading on over here to Pictory.ai. We're gonna get, get started for free. They do give you, I think it's a 14 day free trial. And then once inside here, what you can do, and there's many different inputs that you can put into Pictory and let the AI do its work. Uh, what you can do is if you have an article on your blog, you can just copy and paste your blog article right into here and then have it create a video, explainer video, which I think is really, really cool. But since we have our script here from, uh, from ChatGPT, we're gonna click over here, script to video. And then we're gonna take our script over here. We're gonna go all the way down this way. I'm gonna put it in two parts. But actually, let's just put part of it because this is a video is what we're gonna be showing here. And then what we're gonna go into there, we're gonna hit proceed. Now what it's also gonna do, it's gonna give you a library of how you want this to feel on the next one here. Basically what you're gonna do is you're just gonna pick your, you're gonna pick your style, you're gonna pick your look. Yeah, let's pick this one here. 
subtitle italics. We're going to make it a horizontal video because this is going to be going on YouTube. Then we're going to let AI do its thing. All right. So after a little bit of a wait, we've got our video. Let's see what they came up with. Now it's important to know this is just going to be images and music. There's not actually going to be a voice. We're going to add that in later. I'd say it's not bad based on the clips that we got right now. So now let's hop on. Let's actually go generate a voiceover using AI. And before we go run over to add a voiceover, I want to remind you again, if you're liking this video, consider hitting the subscribe button so that you see more from me. And if you want, I have some additional training linked in the description that'll teach you the basics of doing all of this. Now, in order to create our uh, voiceover, we're going to go to uh, use an AI tool called Amazon Polly. Now, Amazon Polly is offered through Amazon Web Services and what Amazon Web Services, I didn't realize this until I actually started signing up for this, was that they give you a free year uh, to try out their services before they start to charge you. It's pretty darn cool. And I'll have links to all of this here down in the description below. So what we're going to do in here, we got Amazon Polly. We're going to try Polly over here. And now what we're going to do here is to take our input text, grab our script here from chat GPT, come back over to this. And we're essentially going to grab our script. And then we are going to neural, which is the most natural and human like speech possible. Perfect. We're going to have English us, and then you can actually pick your voice. I don't know what they sound like. This is going to be the first one for me, but since this is a car video, I think our, I think our target's going to be young, young men. So let's have a male voice go into here and now let's listen. Welcome to our video on the top 10 fastest cars in the world. <laughs> let's get someone who's a little bit older. Let's go through there. Welcome to our video on the top 10 fastest. Eh, okay. I feel like I've heard that one before. No, hold on. Welcome to our video on the top 10. No, standard. Let's Welcome say. to our video on the top 10 fastest. Now let's use neural. Welcome to our video on the top 10 fastest cars in the world today. Perfect. So we're going to use that as our voiceover for this particular video. And with that done, we're going to come over here. We're going to download it. We're going to download the audio file. So now we've got our video created and we've got our audio created. All we have to do now is just sync the two up. Now this next tool technically is not AI, but I think it's necessary and I haven't found an AI editor just yet. So what we're going to do here, we're going to hop over to CapCut and CapCut is a free online video editor. Basically what we're going to do, we're going to take the video that was generated by AI, take the voiceover that was generated by AI, and we're going to combine them into one single video. So we're over here on CapCut's video website. They have the online uh, video editor. And what we're going to do here is we're going to hop into the editor itself, use a blank canvas. Let's just create... We'll create through there. Now what we're going to do is we're actually just going to upload our speech and we're going to upload our video. All right. Once that's done uploading, we're going to come over to here. We're just going to drag this one in here, drag our video and okay. And then we're going to drag our speech and then this should sort of flow. All right. So once we have the video uploaded here, we've got the speech uploaded. We've removed, we've actually muted the background music on the video. We're going to actually show you what this sounds like. Welcome to our video on the top 10 fastest cars in the world. Today, we will be counting down the top 10 cars based on their top speed, acceleration, and overall performance. Now, that's going to get you pretty close out of the box, but you are going to have to do a little bit of tweaking and cutting to the video clips so that they line up with the audio. If you've done any video editing on TikTok, it's fairly easy in CapCut because it's literally the same editor on a computer as you've seen on your phone. Again, I've never found an AI tool that will do all of this editing and sync this all up out of the box. If you know of such a tool, be sure to drop it in the comments and I'll make sure to check it out or feature it in another video. Now, the last tool I want to use to generate the thumbnail is actually a tool called Midjourney. Now, Midjourney is an AI software where you basically give it a prompt and it will generate the text that you write into an image. And as a matter of fact, Midjourney generated most of the thumbnail for this exact video. So here's how it works. We're going to hop into midjourney.com and it's going to bring you over to this page. And then what you do is you're going to join the beta. And what that's going to do, that's going to bring you over to Discord. All right. So we're here inside of the mid journeys discord. And essentially what's going to happen here is on the left side. I can't remember when I first came in, I'm not sure if there's some, there's some terms. I'm sure there's some terms that you're going to actually have to emote or react to, to get access to everything. But basically the way that they have this here set, set up is you got these newcomer rooms. I'm just going to come into here, grab a newcomer room is where you're going to be. 
And then what you're going to do is you're actually going to do a prompt and it's going to generate an image. And then what you can do is you can either get variations on one, two, three, or four, or you can upscale it, which is going to make it a little bit bigger. So you'll get a higher resolution image uh, to do. Now I want to, I would now, what I want to do is I actually want to bring uh, attention to this particular uh, image right here because the logo for the ghostwriting brand phantom pen. And you'll notice that none of these here actually say phantom pen. It's just a bunch of gibberish. And that's why you should stay away from asking it to put words in the images that you create uh, for a thumbnail. So you want to do it pretty much just for shapes. And then again, because it's just going to have gibberish. It does not know English. It doesn't know. It doesn't know the alphabet. It doesn't know words. So you're just going to get things like this. Like that's supposed to read phantom. It's not even close. So what we're going to do here is down on the prompt. We're going to come into here. We're going to go hit a bat, uh, uh, slash. And then what you're going to do here is you're going to go into imagine. So what Imagine is going to do, and now this is where you're going to give it the prompt. You're going to say something like, you're going to say something like this, something like, give me a YouTube thumbnail for a video about fast cars. And then what we're going to do here is hit enter. And what this is going to do, that's going to actually send it over to the, uh, to the AI. We're going to wait a little bit, and then it's going to spit out four different variations of what we're going to be, uh, you know, four, four different variations for us to be able to use. All right, so now that it's been about, I want to say about 30 seconds or so, these are actually the four different uh, different images that it's come up. And I'm thinking right now, um, these are all kind of generic Lamborghini shapes. I'm going to take one here. I think yellow is going to work. So what we're going to do here is we're going to add a, make a variation of number four. I think it's one, two, three, four. Let's just make sure this is what we've got. If you hit the if you hit this other button here, what this is going to do, this is going to regenerate that prompt and do something else. So let's do this. Let's actually regenerate the prompt. And then we'll actually see what it spits out. So if we come down further down the road, what it's going to do now, as you'll see, it's going to start doing variations. And then here it is. It's going to do. Re it's going to re-roll. Here's the other one. And it is, this is kind of hard to to keep track, but it does highlight your prompts. All right. So now these are the uh, these are the variations, and they're all they're all fairly close. I mean, that's generally what you're going to do. I mean, the differences here are some of the you know, some of the, the, the intakes here in the vents, whatever, that's fine. What I'm going to do is I'm going to grab, I think this one here is probably the most catching for me. So that's going to be one. That's going to be number two. So we're going to upscale number two. And while that's working, we're going to come over here and we're actually going to take, um, take a look at the reroll. So now this is the reroll variation. There's less yellow, but this is now like more of a purple. Let's go into here. Now this is actually, I should kind of like the splash here. Um, I'm, I'm kind of torn between these two, but let's go into here. Let's go variations on number two. Let's have this run again. And then we're going to scroll down the, uh, scroll down the room again. You'll see this now it's right now. It's, uh, it's upscaling that one image of the yellow. And I think it may have just, and we're upscaling again. Hold on. Let's keep scrolling down. This is a, it's a little bit of a pain to use, but once you get used to it, you'll see. And again, yours, uh, here it is. There's the variations there. I kind of like those variations. Let's go again, close. Let's upscale one, two, I'm like a number three. So let's go here to upscale number three. That's going to start that job. And then we're just going to sit here and then wait until those are upscaled. And then after a few minutes, you're going to see this. This is actually an upscaled image of the, uh, of that particular, of that, uh, of that first image that we're looking at. Let's click on this. We're going to right click. And now we're just going to save the image and that's all there is to it then what we're going to do is we're going to take this image head on over to something like canva add some words to it and then we're going to have a, a really cool youtube thumbnail that's a hundred percent original okay so now that we have a completed video we have a completed thumbnail all that's left to do is post this on youtube every single week and as these videos get watch time, as people share them, as they're engaging, because AI knows exactly what we're looking for. And over time, you should have a decent faceless YouTube channel if you stick with it and you continue to use all those tools on a regular basis. But if you want to see the absolute fastest way that I've found for beginners to start making money online, check the video description because I've left the link to a free training. And again, if you like this video, be sure to share, like, and subscribe. That's going to help the YouTube algorithm. And it's also going to make sure that you see more of my videos. I'll see you in another video.